Hey everyone, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and I'll be playing the final bliss today on Lee Chess. So let's get started and see how it goes. Got the white pieces. We'll try to play the London system. So starting with d4 and then the bishop on f4. The dark square bishop develops faster in these kind of openings and then center pawn to e3. Can just develop the knight here first, I somehow believe. So knight to f3. Planting the knight too early, maybe? I don't know. Ah, let's wait. Let's get the knight. Trying to take on the c7, which he guards. Now c3, have a retrieval square for the knight, so nothing to be bothered about. Okay, let's fill up the bishop. The pawn is not guarded. Now it is, so let's move backwards. Trying to maintain the spin as long as possible. Okay, he moves. So I think first we should move the knight. Can we exchange the knights? I'll not take, I'll let him take if he wants to. Okay, he doesn't. Let's get back with the bishop. He's pretty interested in my bishop, I believe. Yep, he is. Bishop exchange happens. It's a good chance to spoil his pawn structure by taking on the knight. to take here I think I'm winning a pawn at least if nothing more yep looks fine if the knight moves which didn't happen so far if this knight moves I have a good square to attack to Okay, I think I can build on something here. Queen, oh, sorry, I had to move to d4 rather. Trying to just pin. Let's take on the knight now. Gives chance to take a free pawn. Well, is it free? And go back in the same rank. I don't mind queen exchange. Shall I offer him one more time? I'm being too gentle though. Couple of pawns ahead, so feeling comfortable to exchange the queen. If he doesn't, then probably some tricks can happen around. I need to cast on the queen side, and that's it. That's pretty much it, controlling the game. Oh, 
What is he thinking? Trying to plant the bishop. He can't. I can take back. He cannot move the pawn forward. I'll take on the bishop. He has to move his queen. And I don't think there's a queen spot remaining where he can save the queen and not exchange it. So he had to exchange finally. Yep. Let's take with the rook. Uh, but then it gives him chance to move his pawn. No, it doesn't. I can take on the bishop if he does that. Ah, free, free, free bishop. It's a, oh, he's a 2000 rated player on lead chess and giving pieces for free. Why? Why that gentleness? How about... Is there a mate somewhere? Is there a mate somewhere? I doubt. Let's just take it slowly. So I think a draw for what? For a game that I won? Let's meet him from here. Where is he going? Where are you going, my friend? It's going to be mate, I believe. Or is there some savior? How about if I take the pawn first? I like to destroy sometimes. As I said, okay. That little bishop is going to trouble. And out. I gotta come and check with that's a good check. He can't take. And then it's a mate after I capture the bishop. Oh, that was soothing victory. I love this game. Let's analyze the match once. That happens to be my peak rating as well. It becomes 1964. All right, start with b4, f5. Always moving the f pawn forward in the initial part of the game is very risky. You are opening up the king too early. Uh, and I tried to play the London here, so pawn to e3. He develops knight to f6. Knight f3. He develops the bishop. And then the other knight to c3. Standard development for white. But here I tried to just be a bit more aggressive than just finishing my development. So went with knight to b5. He saves the attack on in the c7. So it was actually trying to attack uh, the c7 square with a couple of pieces. He had only what one defender. So trying to pressurize the spot. And the best way was to move the pawn forward, which he does in the game. And then uh, pawn to c3. And then take away the knight from there. Knight had only got one retrieval square, which was the a3. So knight to a3. He develops the other knight. And now bishop eyeing the diagonal of the king, threatening to take on uh, the e6 pawn as well. So he moves away the knight. Now I have to save my light square bishop. So I just pull it back on the same diagonal, trying to maintain this pin so that the pawn can never move forward because this pin is always nice, eyeing the king. So he moves away the king now, uh, trying to remove the pin. So. Now, I offered him knight exchange, which he denies. 
uh, trying to take my dark square bishop away from the game. So I pu uh, pull it back on uh, g3 here. He gets the other knight on uh, e4, trying to capture on the bishop. Now, of course, whenever you just capture the bishop, it's it's actually bad because I'm going to open up the h file immediately for the attack. Uh, this is always a good option in the London. You generally don't uh, exchange the bishops, but let your opponent do it. Standard rule for the London system, especially because your major plans would involve opening up the h file, uh, sacking a piece maybe uh, can be a light square bishop, taking on the pawn, uh, getting your knights aligned towards the king and castling on the queen side. That's how London system works. And so that's why I got the uh, h file opened up. He moves the pawn forward. Uh, I take, he takes back, gives me an extra free pawn. So why not take it? So I took it. And then I didn't understand this bishop move as well. Maybe he was thinking to forcefully play uh, the pawn and go for some exchange. Uh, that can only be the reason behind the bishop, as well as uh, his plan was to bring back uh, the bishop on the h6. That would always I in either diagonal where I will be castling on the queen side, also preventing me to capture on the h7, which was his weakness. Uh, so I developed the knight now uh, on f3, uh, making sure the bishop has to run away and bishop goes to h6. And now, uh, so I was trying to play queen to uh, d4 here rather, but was a touch mistake. So queen to d3. And then he tries to just uh, align, move away his queen from the center so that he don't want to exchange queen because he's already pawned down. Uh, I took on the knight and he gives another pawn in the process. And then he tries to tank the queen. Uh, I took the queen on the same rank, probably not the best active square for the queen but after he uh, kicks away the queen i offered him the queen exchange straight away because i was a couple of pieces a couple of pawns ahead uh, plus as you can see he has got two bishops but uh, my knights are more active uh, the bishop is just standing against uh, the pawn so nothing to be bothered about uh, my plan was always to castle on the queen side and then after the castling has happened my rook and get active on the uh, empty file threatening some attacks on the h7 again so yep that was one of the plans and here he moved his queen away and i tried to give him queen ex for exchange again <laughs> and he had to take another no option this time i took back with the rook and he then gives away the bishop i don't know uh, not pretty much into the game here so i took the bishop there he tries to save the bishop. This maiden three. I couldn't see it. I don't know why. Okay. Uh, after he moves, it's maiden two. What was the best move? Let's turn on the arrow. Those who don't know this, uh, you can just. Uh, there's a three. Uh, the, there is a hamburg hamburger menu. It's called in technical terms. Click on the menu bar, and then you can see uh, and turn on the best move arrow, so that. You know what computer is suggesting in that case. Okay, I had to move the knight. And yep, that's mate in one. Got it. How miss it? Uh, should I have done this? Well, should I have been pretty quick. But yeah, it's okay. Uh, it was like more of a slow death that came. Uh, I took the pawn first and then forking the king and the rook took the rook and then giving my check which he saves with the bishop and then the other rook comes into the picture and then a check a very funny check that you can't take you can't move your bishop and then taking the final piece and that's made uh, so yeah a pretty comfortable win uh, london system is pretty effective anyways uh, so Irrespective of the fact how your opponent plays, London is something which you can always try as an opening from white pieces. Uh, gives you strength and control in the beginning, and then it's it's yet a very dynamic opening because you can always sack one of your pieces on the h7, trying to open the h file and just keep attacking after casting on the queen side. 
I hope you like the video. Uh, I hope it was instructive as well. You got to learn something out of it. Uh, that's the whole agenda behind creating these videos. Thanks for your time uh, and keep watching and sharing. Take care. Bye-bye.